new stuff. <laughs> well, kinda. I'm, I'm a little behind here. I finally wiped out a Pixel and I spent a couple days tooling around with one of the betas of Android 12. And I think I can finally share some thoughts. This Pixel flavor of Android 12 has some really strong design and UI tweaks. And we've been walking away from that stark feeling of how empty stock Android could feel. Android 12 is another significant step in that direction where out of the box, the phone is immediately more interesting. Material U, or how the phone customizes your UI based on your wallpaper, it's a bit more organic and sidesteps the solutions we used in the past for theming and building custom widgets. It's a lot easier. Everything here is a little more polished up. You know, pop-ups and animations, menu options, and long presses on your wallpaper. The quick tangent, it's always a stumble when you have a pretty surface layer, but then when you go a layer deeper into settings, you land back on an older, uglier UI. I'm looking at you, Windows 11, snark! Back to Android 12, here's my main complaint on that though. Just like the South Korean skins from LG and Samsung, or the follow-up skins from OnePlus and Xiaomi, friendlier and rounder options, menus, they take up more space. So I wish there was a way to streamline some of this as a customization option. Just how much more scrolling you need to do when you're looking for things. But I have to acknowledge that I'm a bit more of a power user in that regard. Still, the toggles, like the brightness slider, way easier to see, to hit, easier to adjust. That kind of stuff feels like a solid improvement. Overall, that's what I'm digging about this update. The pretty stuff is really pretty, and it's not just skin deep. The other major aspects of this update, Android 12 brings more focus on app behavior and user privacy. I think we were long overdue notifications for camera and microphone usage. You know, all the stories about apps like Facebook, tracking your audio or tapping into your mic and camera. So now when we see a camera or microphone icon, which then morphs into a colored dot at the corner of the screen, elements like that help with a little extra peace of mind. Ditto, a feature like app hibernation, which will lock down an app if you don't use it for a while and make you repeat the process of giving it permissions. I know even average consumers often end up with more apps on their phones these days, so it's helpful to think that they can't just keep operating in the background unchecked. That idea of privacy continues to the new privacy dashboard. Now, I'm not entirely sure how useful this will really be, or if like digital well-being, this might end up just being noise the user starts to ignore. I think there's a good idea here to provide a simple infographic breakdown on how core hardware features are being used by apps. So I hope people take advantage of this kind of accounting, but I have to acknowledge this might be just another pit of tracking data that then gets ignored over time. Getting to the wrap up for this video, you might have noticed this video is not that long. This is all pretty standard feature improvement and quality of life stuff. So why label this a hype video? Why am I getting hyped for Android 12? Personally, I'm getting hyped because I've been running Android 12 on a Pixel 3A, and that's kind of rad. One of the least powerful phones Google has ever produced nearing the end of its support life. I had really low expectations for how well this might run a, a beta update. We should always expect a powerhouse phone like the Pixel 4 to run a beta decently well. You can overcome some optimization with brute force compute power, but you can't hide optimization issues as well here. To be sure, animations can chug a bit, but dang. This has to be one of the most polished beta experiences I've ever encountered. And exciting to see over the life of this phone how features have improved, screen recording has improved, and how this little bugger is holding up far better than I would have guessed at its launch. We often trivialize things like software support, but that's a feature worth paying for when we get good evidence that updates will bring better performance and new features over time. I know some folks in my circles of family and friends who would happily trade some hardware to know their phone is going to be supported well, especially on a cheap phone. Call to action time. Have you been running Android 12? What have your experiences been like? 
drop me some comments down below. The release update is right around the corner, and I think this one's gonna be good. As always, thanks so much for watching, sharing, subscribing to the channel, supporting your favorite content creators, super critical. I've got a full list of all my affiliates and partnerships on somegadgetguy.com, or you should probably consider joining the list of names scrolling by on your screen from my Patreon, patreon.com slash somegadgetguy. Basically, this is a list of the coolest tech pals on the internet, so I hope you'll check them out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the web, at some gadget guy on the Twitters and the Twitch, not so much on the Facebooks or the Instagrams, and I will catch you all on the next video.